Doc here from Street Outlaws. One of the main reasons I come out here to EFI University in Arizona and made the long trip is uh, they have this amazing hub dyno here. Uh, the biggest advantage of this hub dyno is that it basically bolts right onto the axle like this with these little fancy hub plates. Uh, put on a couple of, of bolts here for you guys. And uh, three more of them on, that's on. And we have another hub here that uh, this is the hub I just bolted on. It's going to slide onto the hub dyno right there. A couple of bolts, slide it all in, car on, and we're on this badass hub dyno. The uh, main advantage of this hub dyno versus a wheel dyno, uh, such as I have all over Oklahoma City, is these high horsepower cars tend to slip a lot on a drum dyno. Um, with this thing bolted up right to the axle, there was virtually zero slippage. So if this thing says I'm putting down 1,600 plus horsepower to the ground, it's putting down 1,600 plus horsepower. We had a little bit of trouble on uh, Midwest dyno on, uh, when we did this a few years ago. We touched the third kit every time we did, it would blow the tires off their, their drum dyno. So we, we have zero chance of that happening here. Um, uh, this is Ben Strader, uh, up, owner operator of AFI University. Um, if you want to add anything to this uh, little brief little video here, uh, I think I hit everything. Yeah. Um, if not, it's your turn. Yeah, um, so, so like always, dynoing these kind of vehicles, they make so much power, things can get away from you so quickly. It's all about control. So we have this mainline Dynalog hub dyno, um, you know, and after we bolt this thing up, as Doc pointed, there's not going to be any tire slip. If there's any slip, it's somewhere up there in the car, and this thing's going to be able to absorb about 3,000 horsepower at the axle, which means you got to make way more than that at the engine. 35, before, 30, 600. That's right, 3,000, 35, 30, you know, 3,600 of all the loss in the transmission before it even gets here. So believe me, we won't have any control problems with this thing. Yeah, if this thing says I put down 1,600 to the ground, it's 1,600 to the ground. You better believe it. So once we get this thing going, uh, we'll come back and give you guys some more videos of all the action. All right, guys. This doc here, peace out. I got a lot of work to do. Yeah, we're thrashing. See ya.